Welcome viewers, Zaki and welcome to FR Remaster 2023. We'll be taking an early access look at the Imola track with this car. Okay, before I start driving, I just wanna let you guys know that this is obviously an early access build. Everything you see here may not be in the updates. It might be different, it might look different. So I just, I just need to get out of the way, you guys need to know. Anyway, so let's start driving. So obviously I'm gonna choose my favorite camera, the teapot camera, but I just wanna see how this camera looks. Nice. You can see we are inside the car. We've got some nice immersion as usual. And look, you can see we have these nice gloves. I don't, I think you have, you obviously have hands in the other ones, but I think these ones are like, they look much, they look much better. Like I haven't played the, the 2022 game in a while. But this definitely looks better. Okay, so obviously we are here in Imola, or as it's better known as the Formula One Rolex Grand Premio del Made in Italy El Del Emilia Romagna 2023 uh, in this case. The, the race has been cancelled in uh, obviously over oh, this weekend, so I guess this video would make a nice replacement. I'm joking. But obviously, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hot lap around this track because I don't know too much about the car yet. And then I can let you guys know how it feels and if it feels any different to the 2022 cars. Okay, anyways, that was one lap around Imola, and here's what I've got to say about the car. So, obviously, I don't. The car hasn't looked well. The car model has changed a lot. It looks a lot better than what we currently have. But in terms of how it drives, I mean, I would say that handling feels a lot better at normal speeds. But then at high speeds, you still have that same issue where in the higher gears, it's a the car becomes a bit unresponsive when it turns, like. Here, right here, you can see, just for a split second, before I was braking, I couldn't really turn. Another example is, braking isn't its best, I would say. I mean, you have to be really harsh with the brakes if you want to get the, the optimal braking for every corner. And then it was around here, where instead of turning here, I just locked up around this area, rather than making the turn, like... I had to brake early. So obviously, Ro Arthur did mention this in his video, but just wanted to reiterate it because uh, it happened to me a few times while driving around the track and it can really impact the performance of the lap. But obviously, like I said, this is an early access build. So. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.